So today I'm going to do a Lush collection. Um, I've got quite a lot to get through, so I'm going to start with black pots and stuff, and then move on to naked products. So um, I'll start with um, the Volcano Foot Mask. So this is just like a face mask, but for your feet. Um, it's really like, good and exfoliating, and it just leaves your feet in a really nice condition. So, Volcano Foot Mask. Um, I then have my two hair styling products. So I have the Big Tease, which is a hair gel. And it looks like that. And um, this was like supposed to be like the strongest hold. Um, they've actually discontinued this. So if you really love this gel, um, go into your local Lush store and get one, or get one over the internet. Um, my new favourite is the Dirty Hair Styling Cream. It smells like mint and is just, it's more like a paste and is really good. I absolutely love it, I'm wearing it now. So um, yeah, I prefer Dirty Hair Styling Cream, but I did love the Big Tees. Um, then I have Dream Wash and Dream Cream. So these two go really well together. They both have chamomile and, you know, all that really good, calming, balancing products. So the Dream Wash looks like that. It's a shower soap. So when you use it, you like get it in your hands, get it wet and then wash with it. Um, yeah, it smells really nice. It smells really soothing. So that one's really nice. And then to finish off, like after your shower or whatever, you'd use Dream Cream. I know loads of people that have come in and asked for this, like if they've got eczema or something. Again, it's got chamomile and calamine, all the things that um, are used to calm and soothe the skin. So they're both really nice products. Um, I also have quite a few bottles of stuff. So um, I have 9 to 5 cleanser, which has got um, Dove Orchid oil in it. And um, yeah, so this one's a really easy to use one. It's in a bottle because it's a lotion. So you know we do some solid cleansers and um, I didn't really get on with them. I got I really, really love this. It works really well. Um, so that's 9 to 5 cleanser. Um, I then use aroma water, which is a toner water, so this one you just spray onto your face, which is really nice. Um, it helps to moisturise and like keep any moisture in that you've lost. This has got um, rose and lavender in it, so it's really good for balancing skin. Um, if you've got combination skin, it's really good for that. Um, then I have my Celestial Moisturiser to finish off. Um, I've really recently got this. Um, but this has got vanilla, almond milk and dove orchid oil in it. So it's got similar ingredients to 9 to 5, which is why they go really well together. Um, it's really light um, and it's not like claggy or anything. It sinks in really well. Um, yeah, so that's really good. It makes my skin really nice and soft. And then I have um, the Grease Lightning Tea Tree Spot Treatment. So this just comes in a little pump. And um, this has got like witch hazel, tea tree, aloe vera. They all help to dry out and um, soothe and calm the spot and the area around it to reduce redness. It's really, really good. I couldn't live without my grease lightning. Um, then I have my um, 45 grams helping hands. You can get this in like a pot, like I think it's this size, or like this size as well. But um, I prefer the pump because it's really handy for your handbag. This has been discontinued as well, so if you love helping hands, um, stock up. So, um, yeah, this has got um, linseed oil, almond oil, shea butter and cocoa butter in it. It's my favourite hand cream. Um, it sinks in really well, like you're not there for ages trying to get it to all absorb. So yeah, helping hands. Um, then I have like my shower gels and stuff. Um, I haven't included any of my Christmas stuff in this, which is why my collection seems quite small because most of my collection now is made up with Christmas products. Um, if you want to see this year's Christmas products, I'll leave a link below for my other video. Um, I have It's Raining Men. Um, this was originally released as a Valentine's shower gel and then um, recently um, Head Office re-released it um, as a permanent product. So this smells exactly the same as the Honey I Wash The Kids soap, but it's in a shower gel. You can see I've used like nearly all of it. Um, then I've got um, the Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel, um, so this kind of goes with my hair cream. The Dirty range is actually supposed to be a men's range, but I just love the freshness of the mint smell, 
Um, you can see I've used most of that one as well. It's really nice to wake you up in the morning. Um, I have Happy Hippie. This is actually my mum's favourite. This is also another really refreshing one. It's got grapefruit and orange in it. So yeah, this one's like really awakening and reviving. Um, then I have my American Cream uh, conditioner. You can see I've used most of that as well. This is um, double strength conditioner. So we have like Retread, which is triple strength, which is really thick and comes in a pot. But um, that one's too thick for me because of my short hair, like it would just make it greasy. So I use American Cream and it smells like um, strawberry and vanilla milkshake. So this one's gorgeous. Um, then I just have like my little, little things. So I have um, the bubblegum lip scrub. We do three lip scrubs, um, mint juleps and I can't remember the name of the other one. That's a bit awkward. Um, but yeah, this one's kind of self-explanatory. Um, oh, it's sweet lips. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, remembered. Um, this one's kind of self-explanatory. It smells like bubble gum. It's pink like bubble gum. Um, with the lip scrubs, you just rub them onto your lips and um, it gets rid of any dead skin and then you can either wipe it off or you can lick it off because it's made of sugar, it's edible. Um, so then I have the maple taffy lip balm, which is actually a Christmas special from last year, which is kind of gross, but it's still fine and I love it. It works really well. Um, and then I have two solid perfumes, so like the comforter perfumes, an older one, like they're now the Gorilla perfumes and they've changed, like so the solid perfume comes like this rather than in a tin like this, but I love the comforter perfume and um, yeah, it smells absolutely gorgeous. So I still use that one. And then recently I bought Love, um, which was on special edition in my store. And um, so the solid perfumes look like that. They're kind of like, um, you know, like the old witch hazel tea tree spot treatment sticks. They kind of like that. Um, this one's really nice. It's like rose and jasmine and ylang ylang. Um, I wasn't sure that I'd like it, but um, I tried it and it was absolutely gorgeous. So I had to buy one of those. So that's all my um, like black pots, etc. products. Next I'll do my naked products. So I'll start with my soaps. Um, I've got Lem Slip, which is actually a buttercream. So it works exactly the same as soap, but it's got more cocoa butter in it. So it's really softening. Um, unfortunately, both Lem Slip and Ring of Roses, which is the other buttercream, have been dis discontinued. So um, yeah, buy up if you like this one. Um, it's got a really nice fresh lemony sal smell and doesn't dry your hands out like um, other soaps would. So yeah, I really like that one. I also have Vanilla in the Mist. Um, I've only got a little bit of this left. This also has been discontinued. Um, this one smells like um, coffee and vanilla. So I absolutely adore this smell. I think it's gorgeous. And um, it's also a really softening soap. So I'm really sad that this is going. But um, yeah, so that's Vanilla in the Mist. And I also have um, a soap called Lust. Um, this hasn't actually been released yet. This is an exclusive. Um, I'm going to do a video on um, the new products, so um, keep your eye out for that. But um, So I'll go into more detail about it then. But yeah, Lust Soap. And then have um, two comforters, because I had one in a box um, and I forgot I had it, so I bought another one and I've started using both of them. So I'm going to finish up this one and then, yeah. But um, the comforter is my absolute favourite product of all time. The smell is gorgeous, like black currants, um, all the best berries basically. Um, you get so many bars out of it and um, yeah, I just love it. Next I have um, Tiny Hands, which is a solid hand cream. So with this one you just rub it in your hands, heat it up and then um, the hand cream like melts off into your hands and then you can just rub it in. So yeah, Tiny Hands, it's really handy for, um, <laughs> really handy for like your bathroom or whatever. Um, and then helping hands is better for like your handbag. I also have the um, therapy massage bar, um, which smells really, really chocolatey. Um, we are bringing out two new massage bars, but again, I'll go into that in a different um, video. So this, like, if you've never used the massage bars before, you just heat them up in your hands and the massage oil comes off onto them. And then you do your massage with the bar and with your hands. Um, this one smells really chocolatey because of all the cocoa butter in it. Um, then I have my um, you snap the whip, um, body butter, body scrub thing. And this one, again, is one of my favourite products. It smells like the comforter. It smells like um, blackberries. 
and um, it's got like charcoal and pumice and stuff in it which is why it um, exfoliates away any dead skin it smells gorgeous I just love this smell so that's the you snap for it um, then I have um, the Aromaco um, solid deodorant um, I didn't get on with this too well I think I'm gonna give it another go because I think it's a really good idea um, yeah it did work really well when I did use it but I just kept forgetting and yeah so I'm gonna start using that one again but um, it has like witch hazel and tea tree and stuff in it which are natural anti um, bacterials which is why it's good to stop any smells or whatever and it also has bicarbonate of soda to um, like absorb any sweat so that's really good um, I then have the Trichomania Solid Shampoo, which is otherwise known as the Lovely Coconut one. Um, I didn't really like it that much, but it smells really nice, and my mum really likes this one. So that's the Coconut Shampoo. And then I have, in its tin, if I can get it out, <laughs> um, what's left of my Scenic Shampoo Bar. Um, Scenic is my favourite ever um, shampoo bar. It's got um, Irish moss, nori seaweed and fine sea salt in it so it's really um, conditioning and lovely for your hair and the fine sea salt helps with like volume and body and I've got that in a tin as well. So um, that's my Lush collection. Thanks for watching. Bye!